putting in swarm traps today. It'll be that time of the year to put swarm traps out for bees. So we're going to start putting some out. These are some swarm traps I got from Brushy Mountain Farm in North Carolina. That is the top plate for them. When you put them vertically, you should have them standing this way. You got grommets on each side. Not sure if you can see that, but that's where I'm running the wire through. So I'm putting this one, however, pointing downwards. They need to be about 10 feet in the air, somewhere roughly around that. And you need to mount them with something fairly stiff or strong. I'm using some uh, extra electrical wire that we had, fence wire that we had that was fairly cheap. I think I got like 14 miles worth of this stuff, so might as well use some of it. And make sure you cut your wire long enough. I'll be able to use that in here in a minute, but that was not what I needed. Well, that's the base of it. This will hold it. It's got a hole for the bees to come in through on this side. There's several places of grommets that we're going to support it when it's up there in the air. And uh, I'll put a little bit of blockage in there just to keep the birds from wanting to set up a nest in it. through those grommets there and give us some base support. support. Now I'll, I'll take typically one of these type of wires, cut them off short, and just put them in there to block birds or squirrels from getting in this. Um, what will basically happen is then the bees can come into it, you can put a pheromone in it. To attract bees, I don't. Uh, this is just meant to catch any swarms that happen to come by, or if anybody's seen last year's video, I caught first swarm last year off of one of my bushes. This year I'm going to keep swarm traps up and see if we can't catch a couple of others intentionally, because uh, one last year was accidental. Alright, let's put this thing up.
so that's basically it um, that one I'm pointing downward I'm gonna put a second one in here that I'm gonna put on a post uh, this one's probably a little lower than it should be but it should be fine here we get bees through here all the time we've not had a tendency to have put up swarm traps before um, I say these are from Brushy Mountain in North Carolina. They, I get a lot of my stuff from this. You could build your own swarm traps like this, uh, similarly out of wood, and just nail them to a tree. The only thing you have to be particularly cautious of is that you need to have some strength in them because if you get 10 pounds of bees that land on this thing, uh, it's going to get pretty heavy. Um, so make sure you have it connected up with, with something that doesn't break loose. In this case, I used wire through all the grommets. Uh, be fairly confident that this one will be here for quite some time now. It's, uh, we'll see. We'll see if it has any success. We'll see if it attracts any bees. I'm hoping it does. And we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I've got a couple of hives available, if they do, that I can move them into. And if we get some bees in there, we'll shoot some video of that. So thanks again for joining Automoke's Farm. Talk to you soon.